Hello. Hi. There we Frank go. My pleasure. Meet Wilkie Clark, a seemingly typical guy. Price coming. Just trying to make a few extra bucks at a part-time job. But it's not until you hear his story. I knew I wasn't gonna live very long. When you find out this young man is nothing short of remarkable. I was in my own, uh, I was nine years old, and um, I started sleeping outside. Uh, my family didn't want me. Wilgie is from Haiti, and his life was a living hell. He lived in this home, met his dad only once. His mom. She was just, uh, uh, sleeping with guys so she can feed us and it was difficult for her and um, in 2001 uh, one of the guys she was sleeping with uh, uh, hit her like right here and she died that was one of the darkest hours of my life three years later in 2004 Wilkie got a new family we both felt this child needs to be our son. He was adopted by David and Debbie Clark after a chance encounter during a mission trip. It took time, but they eventually got him home, where they soon learned how special their new son was. He told us one time that he was going to build a house for his friend John. Um, and John is the person that would give him food in Haiti when no one else would. He began saving every penny he earned to build this house. So I wanted to help more, so um, I applied at Blood Culver's. Uh, I applied here in 2008. Wilkie, now 19, has made at least 15 trips to Haiti since coming to Beloit seven years ago. Using the money he earns here at Culver's and at other odd jobs, he gives it all back to the people in his home country. Since I've been there, I know what it feels like to don't have anything. So I wanted to help out. We all can learn a lot from Wilkie. Please give a warm welcome for Wilkie Clark. <laughs> Which is why he's the keynote speaker at this year's Culver Scholarship Ceremony. In seven years, Wilkie has opened up his heart, and now he hopes to change the world. Not only I graduate from high school, I'm taking it one step further. I'm going to college, and I feel so blessed to have a family who loves me very much. Thank you. I just want to cheer him on. We could not be prouder of him.